Hello everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. This will be the second edition of in our discussion the circle. In our previous discussion, we discussed transforming general form into standard form. In this video, we're going to discuss standard form going to or transforming to general form. If you haven't watched the video, I will put it in our cart. Just click the cart, then it will direct you in that video. Let us recall the standard form is x minus h or quantity x minus h squared plus quantity y minus k squared is equal to r squared. And the general form x squared plus y squared plus dx plus dy plus f is equal to zero. Our lesson, transforming standard form to general form. Let's have this problem number one. Find the general form of the circle quantity x plus 5 raised to 2 plus quantity y minus 3 raised to 2 is equal to 49. We're going to transform into this form. Okay, let's start. Our first step, we need to expand our square of a binomial. Grade 8 lesson, special products. First step, square the first term. Square, so that will become x squared. Second step, Multiply the first and the second term. So x times 5, that is 5x, times 2, that is 10x. Again, multiply the first and the second term times 2. That's why we have 10x. Plus, square the second term. 5 square give us 25. Copy the plus sign. Now, square the first term. That is y squared. Multiply the first and the second term. That is negative 3y times 2, negative 6y. And square the second term, positive 9 is equal to 49. Just copy 49. And now, Combine like terms. So x squared plus 10x. We can combine 25 and 9 here. So let's just copy first. Plus y squared minus 6y. 25 plus 9, that will give us 34. Is equal to 40. And now, let us rearrange our equation. So, x squared, copy positive y squared for our 10, plus 10x, minus 6y, plus 34. In our general form, that is equated to 0, so we need to subtract 49 is equal to zero. Let us combine. So x squared plus y squared plus 10x minus 6y. 34 minus 49. That is negative 15 is equal to zero. This will be the general form of the circle. If your teacher asks you, find the value of D, E, F. So the value of D is 10. Value of E is E, negative 6. And value of F is negative 15. If your teacher asks you to find the value of D, E, and F. Okay, 
that's on how to transform standard form to general form. Now your turn. I want you to answer the next problem. Your problem is find the general form of the circle quantity x plus 5 raised to 2 plus quantity y minus 1 raised to 2 is equal to 9. Find the value of d, e, and f. Okay, let us find the general, general form. So copy x plus 5 raised to 2 plus 1 minus, uh, y minus 1 raised to 2 is equal to 9. The square of a binomial, so let us expand. Square the first term, that is x squared. Multiply the first and the second, times 2, it's positive. 10x. And square the second term, 5 squared, plus 25. Plus, square the first term, y squared, multiply the first and the second term, times 2, negative 2, 1. Square the second term, plus 1. Is equal to plus 9. Now, Combine like terms. While combining like terms, you can now rearrange our equation. So, x squared, let us rearrange now, plus y squared, plus 10x, minus 2y, so 25 plus 1, that is positive 26, is equal to 9. Again, our general form is equated to zero. So, okay. x squared plus y squared plus 10x minus 2y plus 26 minus 9 is equal to zero. Let us combine 26 minus 9. X squared plus y squared plus 10x minus 2y. 26 minus 9, that is positive of 15 is equal to 0. This is now our standard form. Find the value of d, e, and f. So our d is equal to d is 10. E is negative 2, and F is 15. Okay. That is transforming standard form to general form. In our next video, what if the given is the center and the radius? We're going to find the general form or the standard form. Stay tuned for our next video. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.